Hey, how are you doing? Another week. Man, they come one right after the other, don't they? <laughs> I could never make it without my cup of joe. So the last episode I talked about planning the future, getting your people involved, helping create some ownership and growing engagement among your team. Along with that comes goal setting. And I kind of lump goal setting and role clarification into the same thing because ultimately at the end of the day, it's about accountability. People need to have clear roles so that they understand what they're gonna be held accountable for, what they're responsible for. And then giving them goals that are, we've all heard about the SMART goals, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, timely. Make sure that the goals are a bit of a stretch for the employee so that it grows them, but that it's not impossible because there's nothing more disempowering than to be responsible for a goal that's unachievable. That can be a big downer for people. If they're challenged and you think that the challenge is more up here than out here, then sit down with them and have a conversation and find out, hey, what's holding you back? What are your what are you challenged with? What is your what are your fears? And let me be with you in those. Let me see if there's something that I can do to reduce the impact of the fear, the risk. There may not be much that you can do, but I can tell you that sitting down with them and having that conversation and just being with them when they feel challenged is a great opportunity for you to understand your employee better and to instill more confidence in them. If it's a really super challenging goal, let's break it down into smaller sub doable subcomponents, but work through it with them. You know, now that we aren't doing the formal annual reviews, we are taking that time and breaking it into these personal one-on-one -on -one conversations about how they can become a better person, a better team member, and grooming them for future leadership at whatever level. Maybe they don't want a formal leadership title, but they always want to be an informal leader in some way. They want to feel that they are an expert in what they do. They want to feel confidence. And as leaders, we can help them instill that confidence and be patient. It takes time. Nothing happens overnight. So that's a lot to swallow. Speaking of swallowing, I'm going to drink some more coffee. You have a great week, and I will see you next Monday on your Monday morning cup of joe.